Hello! Welcome to Cafe Knickknack. So today, I want to review this uh, Mommy Lay Mommy Lay Plants, Mommy Lay Designs sticker book. I won this from the 2018 Eat Plan Love Planner Party by the Philippine Planning Society. So, I went there and this is one of the raf uh, raffle prizes that I won. I really love planner parties here in the Philippines. They make it the point that everyone gets to take home something so they have raffle prizes uh, it's tiered but at least everyone gets to go home a winner so this is what I want it, I think in the chair it was given away a little before the grand prizes so this could be a like a major prize and I am so so stoked to get this because when they were when they were showing this to everyone saying that we are raffling off this um, Mommy Lay sticker book I was like I should buy a set like one 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 of these because I know I don't win at raffles so. <laughs> so I was really really excited that I got I got this so let's open so outside this I don't know what size this is um, but it's kind of long and then I like the, the package packaging wise I like the outer paper cardstock it's matte I love how it feels when I hold it and then there's this clear um, part here like a window where you can see the designs I love how it looks very different from your usual sticker sticker books or sticker I don't know sticker books that you get like from recollections or Mambi where they're either they don't have a cover in front it's just that or if they have a cover it's literally a cover so I like how there is a window here that you can see inside you can peek inside and then turning it over is your usual um, a list or um, thumbnails of the sheets that are inside so you have one two three four five six one two three four five so you have Six times five. How much is that? Thirty. Thirty sheets. And I think it says so. Yeah. It says no in the front. So it says here Life Organized Productivity Sticker Book. So these are um, productivity stickers. And then it says with foil accent. So you can see here from the front, these are foiled there. So they are, they are foiled. Or at least some of them are. So let's open it up. So when you open it up, you get this. You get this. Um, there's a part here that is not sticking to this cardstock. That way you can like open it and lay it flat, which I like. And then there's also a hole here, I guess, for hanging on the shelves when selling. Maybe there. So the first sheet. Is actually clear stickers so this is clear stickers I like how it looks I'm not a fan of pink but I love how the girls look like so I'm still gonna use them next page are your our to-do list boxes and some icons and I love this I love the weekends I love the weekends they look like washi strips and then this one is plants 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 so I guess this is one long strip but you can cut it out or you can use it as a decorative strip like washi. And the next page are um, deco boxes and then some banners, some to-do lists or lists. The next are phone calls, emails, and then some today stickers. These are not foiled. I'm wondering though, I would probably try something, probably try foiling it. I don't know if it will work. I don't know. Maybe they just, maybe if it's printed in toner ink, I'm hoping it is, I can like maybe foil some of these. I'm going to try in a different project and I'll let you know how it turns out. Then we have vacation stickers. I will probably use this. Um, U.S. Thanksgiving holiday is coming up and although I'm not in the U.S. and I don't do Thanksgiving, um, I am on long vacation this weekend, so... I'm gonna use this sticker this weekend and some more deco boxes 
I'm guessing the boxes, these boxes, which are horizontal, and these boxes will fit like an Erin Condren or maybe a Happy Planner. I'm not sure. I don't have a classic Happy Planner yet, so I can't measure. But I love these. And these, I think, are square boxes. It was printed outside, yeah? Oh, and the stickers are thick. The stickers are quite thick. I wonder how they would do with fountain pens. We'll see in a bit. Oh, I love these squares. I love square stickers. I love the horizontal, horizontal, vertical boxes rather. I love vertical boxes because they add really nice decos in the page. Although they take a quite a big spot, I like the squares even better because they add that pop of decor, but it's just a little small. And I love how these are because they're like blocks of colors. It's so fun. Then you have here a list. And then this is transparent stickers again. I love the feel of the transparent stickers. It's matte. See how thick they are. Oh, it's a little thin. A little thicker than your usual blue backed stickers. Oh, this is, again, this is um, clear. I love this hustle and heart it works smarter not harder here and then you have school stuff I don't have I'll probably give this sheet to my goddaughter um, she loves she loves green and I guess she has school and chores so she'll probably have more use for it oh I like this and this rest too you know it's very a, a very important reminder especially for moms And here we have love to call I'd like to call them bullet journal stickers or cover ups because you can use the dates for your bullet journal. I love the color scheme. Oh and this too. And more to do's. Oh this is so cute. Oh, like washi. These are transparent. This is transparent too. I like this and I like this. So nice. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, and a llama and a cloud. Transparent. Me time. A hustle. And, I love this term, hustle and heart. Love, babe, boss. Never give up. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, so adorable. So we're entering fall themes now. Ooh, and a huge pack of numbers. One, one, two, three, four. Four sets. Ooh, nice. Oh, these are all filed. Important reminder goals. And goals and hustle alternating. Some weekends. Notes, some more icons. I like the gradients. Oh, you can put pictures in here. Documented memories on there. So the sticker is a little thick. It's a little thick. If you're used to the stickers that are blue backed, I don't have one handy right now. But if you're used to those, so you'll find this really really thick. I have a scrap here like these blue bag stickers. This is scrap from when I cut stickers. These are really thin. So if you are using a planner with a thin paper like maybe a Hobonichi or something less than 100 GSM, you'll probably really feel the thickness of the sticker when you're writing on the reverse side of your planner. Um, that's something that bothers me. So I don't know how I'll fare with the mommy lay stickers. I think if they are fountain pen friendly, I would be super ecstatic. Let me get a fountain pen and try it out. Okay, so here's my handy dandy. So 
So, I will try it on two kinds of pen. One, two kinds of nibs, rather. One with a italic nib, and then another. You know, I'll try with three. One with an italic 1.1 nib, one with a medium nib, and then one with a fine nib, and then let's try. So, the inks in here are this is J. Urban. Oh no. Oh yeah. This is J. Urban. Uh, Coraline the Egypte. This is this one contains Pilot Hiroshizuko Inaho. And then this one contains Diamine Spartan Shadow. So three kinds of ink, three kinds of nymphs. Let's see. Hmm. It's not fendering, which is really, really good. Because, you know, sometimes, most of the time with stickers that are matte, fountain pen inks um, feather. So this one doesn't. Although, it's probably also because the inks are really good. So, let's see. This is an M nib. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I don't mind the thickness now. As long as it's fountain pen friendly, I am really, really good. Yay! I am so, so happy that this is fountain pen friendly. Yay! So there you can see it is. There's no feathering. And since it's thick, although you, you wouldn't really care because it's a sticker. Yeah, it's not showing on the other side because it's really thick paper. Thick coated paper at that. Okay, so I overall am loving this Mummy Lay sticker book. I love how I love the designs. I love how it looks. And um I love how it's fun and pen friendly. I'm so really happy. So there. So if you're from the Philippines and you want to grab um, a copy, not a copy, grab yourself one of these, you can, um, I forgot that, you can contact Planners Haven and get a copy of this, or if you're in the U.S. or somewhere around the world, you can contact Mommy Lay Designs, here are her, um, channels, oh, you know what, this is not her, this is Paper House. But Mommy Lay, you can find her on Facebook and Instagram. And I think she has an Etsy shop. I'm not sure. I haven't bought from Etsy because I get it from her distributor here in the Philippines, which is Blanner's Haven. So there. So, guys, I am highly recommending you get this sticker book. Oops. I super love it. Especially for fountain pen users like me who love to use stickers, but can't write on the most can't write on most of them. I love matte stickers and usually the work around that I have is to use um glossy stickers. But I don't like glossy stickers. I like matte stickers. So this really helps. I am not sure if it's a different ink if it will bleed. Um because I have to be honest the inks are really good quality. So it's probably why it's not. So if you're using something a little cheaper, it might, might, being the operative word, might feather. I'm not saying it's 100% fountain pen friendly, okay? So it still depends on the ink at, at this point. So, but at least for mine, especially the 1.1, it did not feather at all. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please hit subscribe. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and if you learned something. If you want me to review anything planner related, craft related, just leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure or I'll do my best to get those reviewed. Or if you have any video suggestions, just put them in the comments below. And then hit that bell button down below. I think it's besides the subscribe button. Hit that so you get notified of new videos that I have on my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye!